Hi everyone, so come spend the day with our days. Every single morning, Grace is the one waking me up. I couldn't sleep all through Sunday night because I was having serious stomach upset it's because the nonsense fish I ate. But anyway, I drank my early morning water. So I brought out Grace's food and also my food for it to get cold. And I went outside to open the door for Grace so she can go outside and go and poop. Lately, I brought down my kneeling pillow. Grace thrust on it, so I had to transfer her to her own bed. But <laughs> you can see that she doesn't hear words, so I had to shift her and I said my morning. Prayer. I don't know if it is only here, but all through Sunday and Monday it has been raining seriously. So I brought out Grace's food and it's time to microwave it, guys. Guys, Grace has finally learned how to climb my bed and it's a real headache <laughs> for me. So after that, I have to bring out my own food, my own morning meal. So this is my leftover Sunday rice. I brought out uh, Grace's food because it's already warm and then I put my own food inside it. I have to open it so it's going to get cold. And I put the leftovers inside the fridge and washed my plate. I'm trying my best to do my activities fast because I have class by 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Even though Seth, I know I woke up late. I didn't really wake up early today. So I transferred Grace's food to her eating plate and I went straight to the bedroom to brush my teeth. Honestly, yeah, Nepal people have been trying for us lately. So by the time I'm back, it's already warm. And I gave her to eat and it's time for me to eat my own food. So I'm done and I washed my plate. I arranged it properly. People have been asking what milk did I normally drink? This is almond milk immediately entered the room and dressed my bed and i started sweeping from my kitchen door then before sweeping the room it comes to the person that scatters this room a lot you guys know that it's my roommate which is grace so i had to iron the clothes i'm going to wear to school and i went inside the bedroom to take my bath first of all used my deodorants and then i wore these leggings and i'm wearing this top that i ironed i felt like i want to be on silver jewelry today so i wear my earring my bracelet rub my lipstick i wore my wristwatch though and then this lovely necklace i had to comb my hair using this comb I tried wearing this slipper but i changed my mind and got this carrying this bag but i changed my mind and carried something larger so these are the things i am putting inside my bag see snacks books power bank cord uh my phone many other things with money and though. we are ready to go guys today's class was around 12 p.m in the afternoon but i left my house sharp 12. Rishi's school was already 12 30 that is like 30 minutes walk and drive to the school the lecturer told us to present the assignment that we wrote guys i wasn't prepared for this we are done with class and i head straight to the department to go and meet my project supervisor and he wasn't around as a final year student we have started doing our clearance enter the faculty department to get their account number on my way in i greeted a heading to their office and i noticed that they were already closed i was so disappointed it was 3 p.m in the afternoon and they normally closed by 2 p.m in the afternoon but i was praying that they haven't closed today was the faculty of basic medical carnival day and the students were doing what they know how to do best which is celebration but i don't have the time though my own work is to look at them so i immediately dropped out of the shuttle and i'm heading straight to the bank to withdraw money so i immediately dropped my bag inside one of these wardrobes and i entered the bank to do what i want to do i took the withdrawal slip and i wrote the amount i want to withdraw i calculated the fee that i'm owing the school and it was around forty-five thousand naira, which is not really that much because i've been paying my dues temely this banking system was very quick because there was not much people in the bank so i entered a shuttle bus heading straight home. i was craving for corn on my way back so i immediately bought both corn and pear gone are those days when we buy corn for 50 or 100 naira because this corn cost 300 naira so i'm home and i opened the door you guys can see how excited grace always looks when i had no cage for grace most of you are like get a cage for grace and grace has a cage most of you are still complaining but anyways okay so i had to arrange my things in its proper position i removed my wristwatch my bracelet my earring and also my necklace i'm feeling a little bit tired so i kept them in its proper position so i had to bring out grace food and warm it i did the same for my own food guys and this is the last plate and i microwaved it also i immediately removed everything i had in my bag and arranged it in its proper position Inside the kitchen to bring my own food i gave grace her food but i forgot to capture the moment so you guys should come and join me and eat i enjoyed my meal and i went straight to the bedroom to take my bed by the time i'm done with everything it's already 6 p.m in the evening so i edited my video and i slept off bye